Hello, I'm back. Uh, so the last video we did uh, a virtual environment, Git, uh, virtual control for our project, and we did like the boilerplate for unit test. So it should be ready to go. So the next thing will be save this, the state of the project. So what I, I'm going to do is if I do Git status, you will see that uh, there are three untrack files. So I will git add everything i will add all those so git status there are three new files and i will commit that so git commit so i'll just uh, pass a name so starting point so now i have like a snapshot a snapshot of the project at this stage let me run this okay Cool, so let's go back. All oh, good, so how does testing work? Uh, how does work with test driving development? So we basically will pretend that DigiPy is already implemented. Everything is already there, so uh, we will not worry about that at the moment. I will just uh, write the usage code, right? that's usage case. So let's pretend that DigiPy it's already there. So I don't know. I think I will start by creating a graph, right? This is a graph. So graph equals to DigiPy dot graph, I guess. Right? It, there's nothing there, but that's fine. And then a graph, we get a graph. And that graph can we can add nodes to the graph, right? So graph dot add node, and we'll probably need to pass the type of node. Uh, imagining that there's different types of nodes, so the types are implemented in DigiPy. So DigiPy dot empty node, base node. I don't know, void node. I will go with void void node but feel free to use whatever you want. And this probably will give us a note, right? We'll return a note. So what else we want to do with graphs? Uh, we probably need to know which nodes are in the graph so we can test that the number of nodes in graph is equal to one because we just add one, right? So in order to test something using unit test, you need, well, you need to assert it. So there's a bunch of assertions. Uh, so we need to assert equality, equal, and we will test that the length of graph dot nodes, it's equal to one. So we'll try that. Uh, what else? Well, maybe we can remove a node. That makes sense. So let's say graph dot remove node, and we probably can pass like the node. And once we remove the graph, we can do like the same test, but make sure that the number of nodes is equal to zero. So I think that's a good starting point. Uh, this should be DigiPy. Okay. DigiPy. Cool. So let's run this. And of course, we have an error. And the error is saying that in the module DigiPy, there's no attribute graph. That's because there's nothing there. It's an empty file. So let's just implement that. So class graph. Uh, I don't want doc string, I don't want that, I don't want any argument. Like super simple, do nothing, just a cluster. Let's run it again and it's a graph object has no attribute add node. So in order to add node, this will need nodes. We need to store the nodes somewhere. 
uh, and we will store it in a set we could use a list we could use I don't know you have to start making decision here a set is kind of simple it's cool because uh, you can't have the same instance two times in the same set right there's uniqueness and that's gonna that's just what we need right so we need to implement add node and to add node looks like we pass the node type so let's say node type and in that node well we probably need to create a node right so node could be equals to node type and we'll instantiate the node type and then we need to add that to self.notes so self.notes.add because it's set and we pass the node there and then we need to return the node that makes sense to me straightforward oh what's the problem with this node type oh man cool so if I run the test let's see what's going on error uh, module object has no attribute void node because there's no void node right so let's do it here class called void node oh man and that's pretty much it we don't need that we don't need that and we don't need that so it's basically an empty class just to pass the test we, we have to do like the minimum work to pass the test at first so the next one is a uh, graph object has no attribute remove node so let's implement remove node. I need to pass the node and this dot nodes dot remove and we can remove the node from the set. And uh, well, if we run the test, oh, it's good. So the test is passing. Uh, we have implemented our graph right really simple so the idea is just start by the client code writing that how would you like to interact with your library and then you implement that so the test will always like back you up and, and the cool thing is now we can mess a little bit around with the implementation like for example change uh, this to a list or any other type change the way we add a node or we remove a node and and the tests need to pass right otherwise it will break code using this library so it's a nice way to that allow you to do refactoring basically and make sure that your project will keep working in the long run it's not something that the next change will break everything or anything like that so it's really cool the, the other cool thing is when, when you start from the client side code from the usage code uh, and you need to test each module you ended up designing a couple code uh, and, and clear interfaces so it kind of help to to develop better code right quality code instead of trying to think in abstract what's a graph and and don't even thinking about how the user will how would you consume this library so it has a bunch of really cool features uh, and that's why it's so useful it's it's really important to have testing in in your development project it, it will it make an, a huge difference so that's about it, that's for this video. In the next one, we will implement uh, a node with inputs and outputs and see how that works. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.